have to study this more effectively. Well, one of the things that has caused a problem is non-disclosure agreements. What happens in the number of cases, we have a whole list of cases that we know of where, where records have been sealed by agreement. Okay? So in order for a, a case to be resolved, the person that's impacted has to agree not to talk about the case. Right. Now let's go back to our pharmaceutical company analogy. Vioxx caused heart attacks in a number of cases. Let's imagine that the families of those people were bought off or were, were given a settlement and not allowed to talk about it. That would have been illegal and unethical. Okay. Our view is that non-disclosure agreements in cases that affect public health are equally unethical and should be illegal. We can take this actually a step further. In the Act 13 recently passed in Pennsylvania, uh, doctors that are treating patients that have been exposed to chemicals, perhaps in the workplace, on the crack pad, are required to sign non-disclosure agreements before they're informed of what those chemicals are. This is really a problem with that many doctors. We believe that it impedes appropriate medical treatment in medical research. And it's a, it's a shame that Pennsylvania has, has passed this law Unfortunately, Ohio seems to be falling in, in your path. Okay, <laughs> testing. Testing, I think, is really wonderful. I think air and water should be tested whenever possible. Uh, I think some of the stuff that's going on here is really superb. I mean, looking at uh, you know many of the watersheds before and after drilling, uh, non-drilled walk at watersheds. Um, what we have found, however, is that testing has been very inadequate in all of the cases that we've looked at. pre drilling testing has not been done in many cases, and post drilling testing has been equally uh, incomplete. We believe that it should include all substances that are used in the drilling process, as well as all, all those substances that we think probably are coming up we have some idea of what they are, don't know all of them, what we should do better in terms of our testing. One of the problems is that we don't always know what's being used in a particular drilling operation. Now, the Obama administration has mandated it, actually, the uh, natural gas industry has, as well has tried to something about this. And what they have done is to make available some of the chemicals that are used in, in specific wells. The problem is that the, the information is released after completion on their frac focus website. That means the information cannot be used for pre-drilling testing. And this is unfortunate. We believe that this information should be released before the frag job is done. Okay, and finally, from, one of, from our interpretation of the literature, we believe that the best science tells us we should have at least a 3,000 foot radius around the well tested for water and at least five miles.